Canadians left the Diamond Princess in buses Thursday, beginning their journey home after the cruise ship, with nearly 4,000 people on board, was quarantined early this month off Japan over an outbreak of coronavirus or COVID-19. More than 600 people on the ship have tested positive for the virus, including dozens of Canadians. Now, they're not on the government chartered flight back to Canada. Instead, they're staying in Japan for treatment. For those who are eligible, meaning they don't have symptoms and have passed pre-boarding screening, a flight will take them to CFB Trenton for assessment before the next leg of their trip to the NAV Canada Training Institute in Cornwall, Ontario. There, they'll undergo another 14-day period of quarantine. The Canadian evacuation coming after the Japanese government confirms two elderly passengers, both from Japan, became the first people on the ship to die after testing positive for COVID-19. Back here in Canada at CFB Trenton, where earlier repatriation flights touched down, carrying evacuees from Wuhan, the Chinese city at the epicenter of the outbreak, the 14-day quarantine is almost up for the first wave of returnees. I'm not happy, honestly. Like, I'm not, I'm not even sure if I can put a word on that. Miriam LaRouche, a graduate student from L'Ascension, Quebec, about 200 kilometers north of Montreal, who gave City News a tour of her room at the base last week, she's now preparing to go home Friday. She says those in quarantine have a couple of options. Somebody can, like, uh, come here, pick up us, like, right here on the base, if you have, like, family or friends. Or if we can, they are going to put all of us, like, on a bus, and they are going to drive us to Toronto, like, Pearson Airport. And from there, like, the, it's going to be, like, on us on our way back home. LaRue, she was studying in Wuhan, where the outbreak started, says she's been treated well while in quarantine and has been keeping busy with schoolwork. At the end, like, even though it was, like, a long journey, like, we've been through so much, and we all, like, made it through together. So at the end, it's been, like, just kind of like a, a, a story to tell. And something to mention, no cases of COVID-19 have been detected at the quarantine site. And as for the second wave of evacuees, according to Canada's chief public health officer, for those who arrived on February 11th, the quarantine is anticipated to end on February 25th, if they remain healthy. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.